Good morning and welcome to University United Methodist Church in East Lansing, Michigan, where we are daring each other to love God and our neighbor. We are an inclusive congregation and we welcome all people. If you'd like to make an offering today, you can leave it in the baskets on the windowsills as you exit the sanctuary, or you can use our Venmo app on your phone at UUMC donation. A couple of important announcements. First of all, it is finals week for students. And uh, we have finals goodie bags that have been made lovingly uh, for any students uh, who'd like to pick them up. They're in front of the television screen in the gathering space on that, we call it a credenza. It kind of looks like a big uh, desk. It's a, it's, um, you'll see it. And anyway, we want you to take a goodie bag with you. We have extras, so take one for your roommate or someone else you know who might be stressed out about finals. So feel free to take them. And uh, we love our students, and so we're thinking about you especially this week. Today, there's a choral scholarship fundraiser. Um, The artwork of Joellen Rowe is available for purchase in our fellowship hall, Asbury Hall, uh, which is down at the bottom of the steps to the right. After worship, paintings and note cards are 30% off of the original price, and all the proceeds will go to our Choral Scholarship Fund. Uh, We have several uh, students who sing in our choir, uh, and we uh, offer a scholarship for them, and uh, so we hope that you'll give generously, and we appreciate Joellen's generosity. Cash and checks are made payable to Joellen. If you'll stand now and offer one another the peace of Christ and then remain standing for our call to worship this morning. (laughs) Very nice, sounded great. Join me now in the call to worship. You'll see the words on the screens. For the glimpses we catch of your untiring hope, O God, you are at work even in the midst of fear, of challenge, of struggle, even when our view is obscured by clouds of doubt. That we might glow with its brilliance from the inside out. Let us worship God together.
Today we gather around your Advent wreath and pray together. Holy One, we thank you for the glimpses we catch of your gift of daring love, even in the midst of fear, of challenge, of struggle, even when we cannot yet see a better day when we will act like the human family we are. Ignite the flame of love within us that we might glow with its brilliance from the inside out. Help us face this fear of difference and dare to see what love can do. Amen. Now we relight the first candle, the candle of hope. Today we light the second candle, the candle of love.
Again, if you'd like to help us support our choral scholars, uh, please uh, see Joellen's um, artwork the, after the service and uh, help us as uh, we um, support them in their endeavors and uh, enjoy um, all the music together. At this time, I'd like to invite any children who are here in person to come down and join me for the children's message. And if you're watching online, this is a special time for kids. Yeah, come on, right? We need more people. Here they come, here, here they come. All right, good to see people coming. Okay, hi. All right. We're, kind of, we're in a little different place today. Okay. So, good to see you. Good to see you. Everybody doing okay? All right. <laughs> and good to see you too. Um, so, you know how... Oh, great. Hello. Um, you know how music... Did you like that? Wasn't that pretty? That, that song that they just sang? Yeah. You know how music makes you feel... Like, it just makes you feel good inside, doesn't it? Yeah, music has this amazing power to um, not only make us feel good, but it can inspire us and help us to do all kinds of things together. So um, have you ever heard the song, This Little Light of Mine? Yeah? yeah. Never? Okay. Well, let me, I'm just going to sing a little bit of it, all right? Um, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine. Right? Have you heard that? I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Well, you know what? The first time that that song really became popular was because a, a woman named Fanny Lou Hamer, say her name, Fanny Lou Hamer, Fanny Lou Hamer, that was her name. She sang it on a bus when um, she, she is African American and the police were arresting people on the bus because they were going to protest because they weren't allowed to vote in elections. Isn't that crazy? I know. Just because their skin color uh, was darker, they weren't allowed to vote. And uh, so people were protesting, and Fannie Lou Hamer sang that song. And it, then it became really popular to sing it as a song to remind everybody um, that we need to continue to work for the right for everyone to vote, you know? And that happened back in the 1960s. So that was a long time ago. But you know what? It's still happening today. Sometimes people are not letting people vote for all kinds of reasons. That's not okay. So I want to teach you the signs for that. Do you know a lot of people use sign language because that's another language, um, another way to sing. So, and we're going to help. The, the grown-ups are going to do it, too. So I'm going to stand up so they can see. But this is the sign for little. It looks like this. Okay? You got it? All right. And this is the sign for light. Kind of looks like a candle, right? Like this. So little light. And then you do mine. That's easy, right? Mine. And then I'm. And then here's the sign for kind of like going to let it. And then shine is this. Actually, in sign language, shine is just this, but because we're going to really let it shine, we're going to do it with both our hands. Okay? So we have little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. Okay? Do you think we got it? All right. Let's try it. Are we ready? We'll go kind of slow. We won't sing it too fast. Are you ready? This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine. Pretty good. Pretty good. Good job. Okay? So this week, here's what I want you to do. Just do this. Just do this. Remember to let your light shine. Like Fannie Lou Hamer, remember 
that when things aren't the way they're supposed to be, we let our light shine and we sing together and music can inspire us to change things and change the world and make it a better place. Okay, so I have a repeat after me prayer today. Are you ready? Thank you, God, for giving us light and giving us music. Help our hands to dance and our hearts to sing and to spread more love in the world. Amen. Okay. We don't have Sunday school today, but we do have the busy kits, and we're having Sunday school next week. So get a busy kit and enjoy the music, okay? And let your light shine. There you go.
Hear now these words from Luke's Gospel, chapter 1, verses 39 through 56. Mary got up and hurried to a city in the Judean highlands. She entered Zechariah's home and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. With a loud voice, she blurted out, God has blessed you above all women and has blessed the child you carry. Why do I have this honor that the mother of my Lord should come to me? As soon as I heard your greeting, the baby in my womb jumped for joy. Happy is she who believed that the Lord would fulfill the promises God made to her. Mary said, With all my heart I glorify the Lord. In the depths of who I am, I rejoice in God my Savior. God has looked with favor on the low status of his servant. Look, from now on, everyone will consider me highly favored because the Mighty One has done great things for me. Holy is God's name. God shows mercy to everyone from one generation to the next who honors them as God. God has shown strength with the divine arm. God has scattered those with arrogant thoughts and proud inclinations. God has pulled the powerful down from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. God has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. God has come to the aid of the servant Israel, remembering divine mercy just as was promised to our ancestors, to Abraham and Abraham's descendants forever. Mary stayed with Elizabeth about three months and then returned to her home. For the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us, thanks be to God. Thank you. 
Yeah. 
Tender and mild.
Well, for sure, a joy is the musicians and the incredible music uh, that happens in this congregation each and every week. And today, uh, there's still more to come, but we celebrate and we give thanks um, to God for the beautiful, beautiful, incredible music and all the musicians and people who help this to happen. We also lift up the uh, family of um, the Reverend Gessel Berry, Jr. Uh, he served as pastor here at UUMC from 1989 to 1991, and we got word this past week of his death on November 24th, um, and there was a memorial service uh, that was held yesterday in Chicago, Illinois, and so we just ask that you keep uh, the Berry family in your prayers. We do have um, uh, information if you'd like to send a card uh, to the family and express your sympathy. Um, we have that information and also a way to send them an online message as well. Um, you may have heard about um, tornadoes that went through uh, central Tennessee uh, yesterday. And unfortunately, um, there were several people, I believe six, who were killed. Um, and uh, so we lift up our brothers and sisters um, in Tennessee and ask um, for prayers for all of them during this very difficult time. And then, unfortunately, as well, um, the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, um, experienced what we have experienced, um, gun violence in their community and um, people being locked down. Um, the University United Methodist Church in Las Vegas uh, was um, a place where 100 students gathered during um, the shooting this week. And uh, so we lift them up in their community. Um, and we also pray for those who were uh, killed in Austin, Texas this week again uh, through gun violence. And we pray that um, as we sing about the peace of this season, that we will do more than just pray. And then finally, uh, we want to especially lift up today Connie's mom, Patricia. Um, Patricia's been uh, going in and out of uh, rehab and uh, is just having a, having a rough day today. So Patricia, we hope this music, uh, she's watching online, we hope this music uh, lifts your spirits and your soul and um, we send a special shout out to you this morning. Let us pray. Holy One, in this season we are grateful for music which lifts us, speaks to our souls, reminds us of things that words simply can't. For music that inspires us and brings us to tears. For ways in which the music helps us to shine from the inside out so that we can indeed be your light in the world. We pray for all of those who are Facing illness this season, those who have lost loved ones, we especially pray for the Barry family and are grateful for Reverend Barry's ministry across his whole career, but especially during the time he served here at UUMC. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Tennessee who are facing the aftermath of storms and tornadoes and loss of life. We pray that you will help us to find a way to end gun violence forever. We pray as well for the Middle East and for the Ukraine and all the places where war is raging. Help us truly to find the ways that make for peace. We lift up music and we sing and we pray through song. 
And we speak now together the words that Jesus taught us when he walked among us here on earth, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. We invite you to stand as you're able and join us in our closing hymn, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. The words will be on the screen and the Reach Band will be leading us. be seated. We are so glad that you have joined us today. We hope this service has been a time of blessing for you. Um, we invite you, if you want to hear some of those songs again, um, we're going to be sharing them out on our social media, but you can also go to our YouTube channel and share them uh, that way, or just listen to them again when you need um, to remind yourself of uh, 
these moments of peace and uh, moments of this season um, as we go through each and every day. If you're visiting with us today, we especially want to welcome you and let you know we're just, we're just glad you're here. Um, we invite you um, to participate in anything that uh, you'd like to uh, here in our congregation. Uh, we have lots of information on our website and lots of ways for you to be involved. We would love to connect with you. Um, you can do that using the link you see on the screen or talking with us in person. Um, I do also want to say that following um, the music for Going Forth, which will happen in just a minute, um, there are cookies available in honor of our musicians, and so we hope that you'll partake um, and enjoy that special treat. And um, I would just like to take a moment um, to invite you to thank all of our musicians. Now hear these words of blessing. Like bells ringing out the news that God is with us. Fill the world with messages of love and peace. Go into your lives humming the tunes that keep love alive in you and that spur you on in your work of justice and reconciliation. Raise your voices. Do not be afraid. Amen. Thank you. 